Fairmont, West Virginia is where this story comes out of. I don't have any news videos for this particular story. I'll keep it brief. But I thank you guys who use my email, the AFC Matters at gmail.com, to tell to send me this story, to send me the link. Check this out. Because I definitely wanted you guys to hear about this. Just it's amazing to me how you can have a collective of people and they all can fail a child. Let me give you guys the fair usage for my type of content before we talk about this. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. So I'm getting this story from WDTV.com. Thank you for the article. Fairmont, West Virginia. Three people from Marion County are facing charges after authorities say it very deplorable conditions. So you guys know what deplorable is. That's disgusting. That's filthy. That's nasty. That's just beyond reproach. Disgusting. Very deplorable conditions were found at a home in Fairmont. 29-year-old Kristen Walker. Let me see. Do I have their names? I don't know if I have. Yes. Yes, we do. 29-year-old on the right-hand side, Kristen Walker. 37-year-old Tanya Satterfield, who was in the middle she don't look 37. She looks about 57. Tack on another 20 years of that. And 35-year-old Leonard Satterfield III, all of Fairmont have been charged with child neglect. Child Protective Services, or CPS, went to a home on Bunner Ridge Road on, in, in Fairmont on August 31st to remove four children, including an infant, from a home because of an ongoing investigation that noted very deplorable conditions at a home, according to a criminal complaint. CPS workers provided detectives with the Marion County Sheriff's Department photos that showed garbage, dog feces, and clothes all over the floor, according to court documents. Additionally, used toilet paper was stacked up in the bathroom and no food was reported to be in the home. Nothing. During interviews with the children at Marion County Child Advocacy Center, authorities said that they learned during the investigation that the children very seldom receive baths to clean themselves or food. Wow. The children would allegedly eat multiple meals at school because there was no food for them to eat at home. That just pisses me off. Three grown ass people and this one sitting there smiling in that picture. One of the children was also reported to be eating pop tart crumbs from his pocket. The children further told CPS he would save some of the crumbs to eat later on. Lord have mercy. Mmm. One of the things that bugs me more than anything, it almost brought me to tears just now, is because the most important thing that we all need to be able to do is to eat and to drink is sustenance. We all have to survive and eat. And for grown ass adults to not be able to provide something as simple as food or go apply for food stamps or something, whatever it is that you need to do, kids have to have that or you shouldn't have kids at all. If you can't afford to give them food, you shouldn't be a parent. But that burns me up because I know what it's like to go hungry. Well, kind of the struggle. Let me not say that because I didn't, I didn't grow up in a household like that. But when I tried to get out and get all, out on my own, there were times when I might have just jumped out there too quickly and I'd have to choose between either paying bills or eating sometimes because I wanted to kind of take care of myself. And I didn't want my parents to know what was going on, that I had a job that just sucked. It didn't pay enough for me to be able to take care of myself properly. So it really bothers me further to know that children are forced to go through this. And that's that's that really, really grinds my gears, like Peter Griffin would say. 
Criminal complaints also detailed the following information from children in separate interviews. One child said that they had to bathe in cold water and that Leonard let us starve. The child also said that they get whipped with switches, belts, and hands on their butt and their heads. Multiple children said Leonard broke a window above an infant and that the glass landed on the infant. One child was reported to have marks on their stomach, back, and side from being hit with a belt and burned with cigarettes. A doctor allegedly diagnosed the child with physical abuse, neglect, and malnourishment. Another child reported punishments from Leonard included filling up the bathtub with ice and cold water and making them sit in it and standing against the wall on their tippy toes with nails under their feet. So this idiot could do all of this, but couldn't provide, they couldn't provide food for these kids. Isn't that something? The criminal complaint says that at least four children were covered from head to toe with dirt, which dirt matted between their toes, toenails, hands, neck, and face. Court documents say Walker and Tanya did not intervene and allowed the children to live in the home and receive neglect and abuse, which again, my standpoint is if you see it and don't say anything, you need to be facing just as many charges as the person who committed the crimes against the children. So I think this is this is a good we're moving in the right direction. Walker and Tanya Setterfield have been each charged with four counts of child neglect creating risk of injury and Leonard Satterfield the third has been charged with four counts of child neglect creating risk of injury and three counts of child abuse creating risk of injury they are all being held in a north central regional jail so again I hope that they all get the same amount of time in jail and they never never need to be allowed to be around children again but please let me know what you guys think in the comment section pray for those children because now either the system has to take care of those kids or maybe some distant relatives or some foster parents. You got to really pray for these kids. They're going to have a rough road ahead of them, okay? But let me know what you guys think. Thank you.